Hello guys and welcome again to another edition of Learning with Rich. So for today's topic, I'm going to discuss how to add duct fittings and accessories in our Revit MEP 2017 mechanical project. Alright, so let's get started. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open my project browser and open the ceiling plans level 1. Okay, so from here, after we create our supply and return duct, so I'm going to insert the accessory. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to insert accessory. So I'm going to go ahead and open the systems tab. And then from the HBAC panel, you can see here duct accessory. Okay, so I'm going to select this one. And then from the properties, you can see that I only have one accessory here which is the fire damper okay so our uh, fire damper so when you say fire dampers they are passive fire protection products used in HVAC ducts to prevent the spread of fire inside the ductwork through fire resistance uh, rated walls and floors okay so that is what we are uh, that is the reason why we are placing fire dampers to our HVAC ducts, okay? Now, so, as you can see, our fire damper, if I'm going to move this, let's say I'm going to place it here, okay? You just need to hover your pointer to the duct where you want to place your damper, your fire damper. So, I'm going to move my pointer here, for example, Okay? And then you just need to pick. So you just uh, want to find the rectangular duct where you want to place your uh, fire damper. So I'll just place it here to this side of the wall. Okay. So I'm going to select. So there you go. So from here, you have an option if you want to rotate your fire damper. Okay, so let's say I'm going to place another one here. Okay, so I'll place it one here. There you go. So if I'm going to select here, modify, and then I'm going to select my damper, you will notice I have this symbol here, wherein you can actually rotate your fire damper, right? Okay, so it's up to you how you want to place your fire damper. In what direction do you want your fire damper to be located at? So this is how you rotate your fire damper. Okay? Alright. So if you want to see the line weight of your model, just remember you can always turn off the thin line so you can see uh, the line weight. So you have uh, several ways to place your damper. You can rotate it. Okay? Actually, there's also the... Uh, flip icon here. See, if I click this one, you will notice there's the flip icon, right? So you can modify the direction of your fire damper. Okay, so aside from that, I'm going to show you how to load your uh, accessory. Okay? So how to load your accessory. So to load, so from the insert tab, because right now, if I'm going to select the duct accessory, I only have here one fire damper or one accessory, right? So I'm going to show you how to insert or how to load one. So I'm going to select load, uh, insert, and then load family. Okay, and then after that, I'm going to look, I'm going to select your duct accessories. Okay. And then after that, I'm going to select uh, dumpers and let's say I'm going to use the balancing damper. Okay, so this is my balancing damper. So again, just a bit of a background of the balancing damper. Balancing dampers are control dampers that balance the flow of air but are not intended to be used in applications as a positive shut off or for automatic control. Okay. So that's the use of your balancing damper. So we use that uh, to balance the flow of the air. Okay. So I'm going to select this balancing damper to load. And, and then after that, I select open. And then if I go back to the systems here and then select the 
dock accessory, as you can see, balancing damper is now loaded. Okay, aside from the fire damper, the balancing damper is now already here. Okay. So, let us now place our balancing damper. So, let's say I want to place it here. So, as you can see, that's the symbol of our balancing damper. So, I'm going to place one here. Just pick. Okay. Again, you can flip that. You can also rotate your uh, balancing damper. So, I'm going to place one there. So, I'm going to place another one here. Okay. Let me just uh, cancel this first. So, uh, the accessory, so I'm going to place it here. And then just delete the element. So, let me just move this one. Just move it down. Okay. Just like that. So, I'm going to create another balancing damper by selecting this. Right click and create similar. Okay, so let me just place another one here. Okay, so I'm going to place another one here. And another one here, okay? So it's up to you where you want to place your uh, accessories, okay? Alright, so that's how you place it. So in 3D view, this is how it looks like. So... Before I change my view to 3D, so I'm going to hover my pointer to one of the dock, supply dock, and then press tab. And then tab again. There you go. Then tab again. Tab. Okay, then after that, I'm going to click. Okay, and then from the view tab. Oh, I mean from the modify, there's an option here. Selection box. Wait, wait. Let me just highlight again. Uh, tab. And then click. Okay, and then there's your selection box. There you go. So this is now how it looks like. So let me just adjust it. Right. So there's your accessory. So we have accessory here. Okay, so that's the balancing damper. Okay, so we also have our... Uh, fire damper here okay so another thing that um, I'm, I'm going to show you is how to configure your duct okay so how to configure your duct let's say for example this one okay so every time you create this uh, duct round duct top short radius it creates this type of fittings okay so how do you change or how do you configure the way your duct create the ducting uh, the duct fittings after you place it so if i'm going to select this one and then if you check the properties so i want you to go to the type properties and then you will see here uh, routing preferences okay so from here if i'm going to select edit it will now show you here the property of that particular duct. So, meaning to say, every time I use this type of duct to create a duct, okay, it will create an uh, an elbow with this type, a uh, junction type of this type, okay, round takeoff standard for junction, etc., etc. So, this is actually the settings of your top short radius. So, if I'm going to change, for example, uh, the junction, okay, so let's say I'm going to select uh, M round takeoff, shoe standard. So, what will happen is, when I create this type, this is the junction, M round off takeoff, shoe standard. So, I just select here, OK, and then OK. So, I'm going to select here, modify, because it will not modify the uh, dock fitting that you already placed. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to click this duct, right click, and then I create similar. So I create similar, and then let's say I'll just place it here. Anyway, I'm going to remove this later on. So I'm going to pick here, and then I'm going to pick the placement. And then you will notice, select modify, you will now notice that our M round take off shoe standard has been placed. Okay, so right after I use this type of top, okay, because we have changed the setting of this type using our 
routing preferences. So this is where you can configure your uh, fittings, the fittings of the dock. Okay, that's why every time I use this one, so this is the type of junction that we will be creating. So in 3D view, where is that? There you go. So this is how it looks like. Okay. If, for instance, your uh, docks, your fittings uh, look uh, jagged or it's too thick, so you just need to turn on your thin lines. Because if this is turned off, so it looks like this. Right? So you can just uh, turn on the thin lines. And you can also change the visual style. Right now, if I'm going to change this one, I will not be able to change the visual style. Why? Because of the view template. Okay, so the view template currently is mechanical plan. So I'm going to change this one. I'll just select here, none. And then, okay. So this time, I will now be able to change the visual style. So let's say I just select uh, shaded view. So this is how it looks like. Okay. Again, just like your fire damper, your balancing damper, you can still change the location of this. Or I mean the, the rotation, you can click that. So you can click this one, right? So you can rotate it. Okay? So you can also modify that one. So that's how you configure the dock fittings of your dock by going to the type properties of the dock and then selecting the routing preferences. <clears throat> Just make sure the family that you want to use is loaded. Okay? Still, there are other families that is loaded here. So, I can change this M round elbow 1D to M round elbow 1.5D if I want, okay? For the junction, we have three types, okay? So, we have three types. So, if I select M round T standard, so this will be the type of junction. Our duct type tops short ranges will be creating after we create it, okay? There you go. So, aside from that, okay, aside from changing the property of your dock fitting, okay, you can also close the end part of your dock. Because right now, this is open, you can add here an end cap. So, this is a bit uh, difficult to do before, but in the latest versions of Revit, I think it started in 2015, if I'm not mistaken. You now already have this cap open ends, wherein all you have to do is to select the dock that is open, and then you just need to select this one, cap open ends. So it will close the end of that dock, which is very important in uh, creating your layout, your duct. Okay, I think I already shown this on my previous exercise, so I'm just uh, repeating again. So let's go ahead and close the dock end here. Let us uh, put some fittings. Okay. So, okay. This one I don't need anymore. So this is just for the purpose of uh, example. Okay. So let me change the visual style to realistic. So this is how it looks like. So let us close this one. Cap open ends. Okay. This is the right way to do it. So, cup, open ends, this one also. Alright. Alright, so we are now good. So, that's how you place your uh, dock accessories. And then, that's how you modify the fittings of your dock. And then tool that you can use to close the end part of your duct. Okay? So let me just change my view to 3D. Let me just hover my pointer to one of the return and then tab. Tab again and then click. And then we can use this selection box. Uh, pretty useful tool. Okay? And then from here you can now modify this. You can change the height Okay, there you go. So we're now good. All right. Okay. So I hope this video has been uh, useful to you, helpful.
in your Revit project. And if you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, you can put it on the comment section below. And I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And don't forget to like my videos and subscribe to my channel, as well as visiting my blog site, learningwithrich.wordpress.com. Okay, so don't forget to support me for me to be able to continue creating videos that will help you work on your Revit project. Okay? So again, this is Rich. Have a nice day.